Hey, how you all doing? Um, I'm just gonna get into this. I've got a rainbow going on. It's not gonna end until tonight. Night for me. So I might as well get in some games now. See if I can start a little bit of a push for the top 100. If I can get a few wins in my favour. Uh, that would help a long way. Uh, I want to get myself locked in for top 1000. And potentially go for that top 100. Uh, every time I've got into that top 100 end of month. <laughs> um, the reset is after my like late night, midnight, early morning. And so every time I get into that top 100, I always end up getting shafted. I don't get myself high enough up. Um, and so I've always been pushed out of the top 100 whenever I've got in there. So. Let's see if we can do it this month. Alright, so he has got a Coco. He has got a Coco. So what I'm going to do is actually drop my electric energy. If he comes out with Coco, I'll go and attack it. Um, and see how he wants to react. If he comes right down here with Coco, I'll be happy. No, into the middle with Coco. So, does he have a goal block is the next question. That is a question I have to ask. Does he have a whole goal block? XP, double chance, scoop up, goal block. Yes. So, I won't be able to just go attack him and, well, I could go and attack him. But it may not work as well. I'm gonna drop my toad down and then go from there. See what we can conjure up. And ooh, now this is interesting. If I can get a gold off on that Lunala, I should be able to take it out. Um, but I'm not sure. He's going to end up going defensive, I'm guessing. Oh, he's coming straight at me. So, what I want to do is... I kind of want to... Swap spot. And I'm going to do it. Swap spot my character up into that corner. And just in there, force him to retreat back with his Coco. And then I'll bring up my Toad and attack with my Toad. Um, I want to I want to get myself into a position where I can freely attack with Zap. And then also this little guy. Hello Toad, poison please. Thank you. And now next turn. I'll be able to go up and attack with Zap. So a double chance of Zap happening next turn. Um, and then if I can knock out that Lunala, I should be able to surround that... <coughs> I should be able to surround that Verizian as well. So I just need to land gold here. Just need a little bit of gold. I've... Potentially should have saved that double chance. Ah, oh, definitely should have saved it. <laughs> um, but you never know. You never know how it's going to go. So Verizian, he has to move that right about now. If he wants to protect his entry, then he's got to do that. But I want to be pulling out my Gengar. If he jumps over here, I want to pull out my Gengar. And then bring it to my goal. Because Gengar has about 50% chance of stopping the Typhoon's high t-slash and as well as I can step over him if he tries dodge going off and now I'm going to go actually I'm going to go here and the reason why I'm going there is if he wants to move into into there, then I can just just stopping him from just moving straight down. So giving myself options is what I want. If he doesn't move there, I can move my Zapdos back, stop him from moving. 
So, X attack going down. Oh, on Terrakian. Interesting. So, hoping he gets a protect. Or, oh, ouch. I feel for you. Does he have a counter attack? Is the question. Does he have a counter attack? He does not have a counter attack. So, I've got to take this opportunity to drop my zap. And now, if my zap rolls yellow, he's going to have a hard time coming back. Um, and then after this, so I've got a few things I can do, but what I want to do, what I want to do first, I want to use my Mega Gengar now. I don't want to put Gengar on the goal and have him give him, give him the opportunity to um, give him the opportunity to just jump on, jump on over me. So I'm just going to come up here, stop him from moving. He's got a double chance X speed goal block. So no hurdle jumps. I could have just potentially, I should have just put him there actually. And yeah, that would have been better because then I could surround it in two turns rather than three. So what I'm going to do is drop out my Resh. Just get in the way of that chicken. And then pull out my Zek. Depending on how this goes, if he gets his, if he gets his cyclone kick off right now, I need a dodge. I need a dodge, or him to go double white is what I need. Oh, there we go. This could potentially be game. Now I need Verzian to roll white. I need Verzian to roll right, and if Verzian doesn't roll white, then GG. Well, actually, no. No, I take that back. A cyclone kick, kick. So what I'm going to do is put it back to where he was. Stop Verizon from moving. Get, give myself another turn to get another Mon out. <coughs> and then I'd have two Mons together. Um, so I'll give that a go first. Ooh, I need that Rish to survive. Alright, Blaze is burnt. Now that's alright for me. Um, I need to now cover up with Gengar so I don't just lose. And now if he wants to step down with with his Verizian, he's got a Typhoon Slash to win or I can step over him. Or if he attacks, if he moves into Gengar, he's got to attack and win As with whatever he chooses. So XP going down on Verizian. I've got to hope for my dodge. Hope for my dodge or yeah, purple on purple. Oh, whew. That was lucky for me. So I'm gonna take that and step on over. The reason why I'm going up, I thought this might not be a good reason to go up, but he does have he has Jet kick should be burnt off. So I need Gengar to roll some good moves for me one more time. Another weight on his white or a miss would be amazing. And then yeah, that that would just be amazing. So I need him to miss. And this will go white. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, that was close. Far too close for comfort. And now if I move Toad up, there's nothing he can do. And that should be game. Man, that was far closer than it should have been. Thank you, Coco, for taking the lead and winning that for me. Hello, Toad in the background. You helped. Yeah, you did. You're the support. <laughs> um, actually, Toad, you are the one who set that all up for me. Poisoning a Verzian. Both of you. Team effort. It was a team effort. <laughs> Alright, and that right here is my newest highest rank. Um, so, 3476 is my newest highest rank. The only time I ever start ranking up is end of the month. <laughs> because the rest of the time I'm testing, winning and losing, testing decks, testing strategies, 
So, ooh, I'll take gold, please. Yes, some gems. 20. I love that. I love it. Um, that is awesome. So, well worth it. But if we look here in my records, that is a new highest rank. Um, when I eventually find it myself. So, duels this month, I've got over 50%. That's um, generally around that because of all my testing at the start of the month. But, yeah. So, nearest, new highest rank for me. And highest rank through U64. So, hope you guys enjoy that. New rank for me. I'm going to go push for some more. And we'll see you soon.